All right, I'm gonna do something I hadn't done in a long time, and that is run Hypersmooth. Bust out the Hero 8, turned on Hypersmooth. Um, this thing is heavy as shit. I usually fly the GoPro Hero Session or the DJI Action 2. And yeah, I just feel like my style doesn't really go well with Hypersmooth. You'll see people bragging, saying no stab, no stabilization gain. That's not why I. That's not why I don't fly stabilization. I don't fly stabilization because it doesn't match my style, and sometimes it just looks way too over enhanced. So I'm gonna fly stabilization today, and maybe when I get back, I can talk about the footage and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. If not, then don't worry about it. Porky pig. Mm. I hope I don't break this thing, which is another reason I don't fly the Hero 8 as much anymore. <sighs> believe it or not, let me talk about this. Yeah, believe it or not, the action to I've been telling people this they don't believe me but that's fine but in my experience the action to in a good mount this is the wood choke FPV mount look at that protection the action to in a case like this for me has been more durable and more reliable than a GoPro Hero 8 9 and 10 I have to say it. Believe me if you want or don't. But the main reason, I was gonna make a video about this, but I'll just tell you guys now. The main reason is not that the Action 2 is tougher, but it's smaller, so it stays out of the way of damage. So it's harder to hit than having a huge brick on the front of your quad. You have a much smaller target. The next reason, it's a much lighter weight. So when you hit stuff, you have less inertia, you have less energy. Um, the 8, 9, and 10, they just get more and more fragile as, I'm still recording, as time goes on, like, the more, the hero models lately, they've just been getting bigger and more fragile and just more finicky. So you get the dreaded no SD error, no battery error, stop recordings after a few hits, they stop recordings. I've never taken the walk of shame to the Action 2 having stopped recording. It's just been way more reliable. And people at Rampage, you know, they lost a lot of footage. Um, I saw a lot of freaking broken GoPros <laughs> at Rampage. But my Action 2 survived Rampage. Um, the microphone is a little jacked up. But as far as video, this has been way more solid. So I just want to put that out there. If you do fly stabilization, it's probably not the best for you. I know the session is not the best for you for sure because it doesn't have a good stabilization. But yeah, um, I'm gonna fly the brick and I hope I don't break it. I hadn't been back to Best Buy for a new GoPro replacement plan in a long time and I just love it. That's another reason why I don't really fly the Hero 8. All right, you guys ready to see me fly with some Hyper Smooth? Well, here it comes. It's probably doing the, the hover thing that I hate. I think my antenna still jacked up.
Probably softening up all the moves I'm doing. Shit, I'm way in the street. Oh, hello. Hyper Smooth is probably killing all of this flight. I'm hating. Oh. <laughs> oh. Didn't see that coming. I was wondering, like, where did the hole go? And, uh, oh, never mind. No bending that back. I'm um, gonna change that. That teal color, man. It's prone to cracking like that. I'm trying to keep it real raw and rippy and aggressive. I'm not trying to like fly smooth like add on to you know cricket still recording yep still recording okay i like it i like it a lot all right let's get like more aggressive Now I'm just like doing random rolls. All right, that, that's the end of that. I just crashed and it came unplugged. Unless I can plug it back up and get right back going. Well, what do you know? Three, four, five, nope. This is why. This is exactly why. <laughs>